Hi, I'm Rafi Holzer, CEO of Avere, and this video provides a brief overview of how Avere tracks changes between reality and plan on your site, and how you can use it to automatically update your BIM. The process begins with you uploading your BIM to Avere. Then, the site gets scanned. Anyone can do the scanning, you, us, or a third party of your choice, and they can use just about any LiDAR scanner or 360 camera to do so. Once the point cloud is uploaded, our algorithm gets to work comparing the point cloud to the BIM you've provided. We then show you the results of our algorithm in the customer portal. In this video, we'll focus on the results of Avira's deviation analysis. When we log in, we can see the BIM we've uploaded. If we select the QA visualization mode, if we select the quality control BIM view, we can see the results of Avira's deviation analysis. The legend here is as follows. White means an element has not been built. Gray means it's built with intolerance. Red, built but out of tolerance, and we'll get to purple in a minute. We can adjust the tolerance for our project by moving the selector here up or down. As our selected tolerance moves up, more and more elements fall within that tolerance and turn from red to gray. To inspect a deviated element, we can click on one either in the viewer or in the list of deviations, and then click on the magnifying icon either here or here to zoom to it. If we consult the legend, we see that the selected element is the as-designed element, and the orange element near it represents where the element was found to be in reality by the algorithm. If we turn on the point cloud here, We can confirm the algorithm did a good job. If it hadn't, we could change the status of the element and or change its location as required by clicking on the Adjust Element Positions. In this case, though, we really have two options. One, we could fix this element in the field, and then on a subsequent scan, this element would read fixed, and the label would turn green. The other option is to update the BIM to as-built condition by pushing this update to the BIM. We do this by clicking on this menu item next to each deviation and selecting the push to BIM option. Once you've done that, the element will move to its as-built location and turn purple. You can also see reports on the total number of deviations by downloading that report from this menu here. In another video, we'll walk you through how to bring this updated BIM back into other authoring tools. Thanks very much. If you have any questions, please reach out at the email below for a full live demo.